So Evenix finally gave us Android 12. The Evenix Hot 12 is running Android 12. Infinix, I see what you did there. It's also the first Infinix Hot device to have a side mounted fingerprint scanner. We also get stereo speakers on here, but is it worth $165 or 93,500 Naira? Well, I've been using the Infinix Hot 12 for about a week now and a couple days. And I'll be sharing my thoughts and experience with this phone and telling you guys everything you need to know about it to find out if you should buy it. So let's get to it. My name is Yudi. I talk about tech. Let's shoot. So if you look right below the title of this video, you'll notice something. Have you seen it? Yes, we are so close to 1000 subscribers. So if you're new here or you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please, please do subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right beside it. Thank you. Now let's get started with the review. So first, inside the box of the Infinix Hot 12, we get the phone. Some of the specs are listed on the plastic wrap. Okay, next we get the warranty card, free fire stickers, $25 gift card, and the X Club dollar bill. Next we get a free fire plastic phone case. It fits well, but I'm not sure on the protection. Next we get the 18 watt charging brick, a type C cable, wired earphones, and lastly the SIM ejector tool. Let's start with the design. It's a glossy finish and I don't like it. It's fingerprint magnet, you see smudges everywhere. It's so reflective, you could use it as a mirror. It's also flat at the edge, like the new iPhones. You might like that, you might not. I do have a concern on the rear of this phone. It's plastic, but like when I press down and run my fingers through the, through the rear of the phone, I can feel the internal components of the phone. What does this tell us? use a case you can use the one that comes with the phone or buy one that offers more protection the display is tall like me it's a 6.82 inch 720p 90 hz display you can set it to 60 hz 90 hz or set it to adapt depending on what you're doing on your phone it also gets bright enough to use under direct sunlight i had no problem using it outdoors the display is good for viewing multimedia content considering how big the display is. Colors are well saturated, contrast is good, I just wish it was a 1080p display. But for a 720p display, it's quite sharp, pretty good. Okay, let's take a look at the external features. On the right side, we get the volume rockers and the power button which also doubles as the fingerprint scanner. It is fast and very reliable. I actually prefer side mounted fingerprint scanners to under the display fingerprint scanners. Now at the bottom we get the headphone jack, type C port and one of stereo speakers and the other one is up top next to the selfie camera. And they don't sound good. Hear for yourself, I don't know if you're able to tell but yeah they don't sound good. So, Infinix takes over one of their latest earbuds for review, the Infinix XE21. In this video, we are going to go over everything about... So, yeah, they don't... They sound thinny. Like most times when I get gadgets to review, I'll give them to my brother to test it out and tell, tell me what he thinks. And most times, what he will tell me it, it's good or it's okay. But when I gave him this phone, I didn't even have to ask him about the speakers. He just came to me and told me that... What's wrong with the speakers? So yeah, they are stereo speakers, yes, but the sound quality is not so good. Now at the left side of the phone, we get the dual SIM card plus memory card slot, and at the top, we get nothing. At the rear of the Infinix Hot 12, we see the Infinix branding, and at the top left is the rear cameras. There are three of them, 13 megapixel main, 2 megapixel depth, an AI camera, and up front, an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Okay, picture time. Now for the price of this phone, pictures are pretty good. HDR, that is high dynamic range, is surprisingly great. It has that over look that pictures from the Pixel phones have, 
but honestly i would rather have that than having blown out skies or overexposure colors look okay and contrast feels right selfies also look pretty decent i'm really impressed by the hdr on this phone i absolutely like the portrait pictures they look really nice air detection is really good Now low light or nighttime pictures is a different story. The night mode helps a bit but not much help. Do not even think about taking videos or pictures in low light or nighttime with this phone. Hey guys, so this is the selfie camera on the Infinix Hot 12. So let me know what you think of the video quality and the audio quality as well. I'm shooting in 2K resolution right now, that's 1440p. So yeah, let me know what you think. To be honest, I'm not impressed by the camera, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So you can also take portrait mode video on the Infinix or 12 selfie camera, and this is what it looks like. <sighs> what do you think? You like it? Is this something you find yourself using? Well, you should know that this mode is limited to only 720p. You can't use this mode in 1080p or 2K resolution. Well, yeah, let me know what you think of this portrait mode video effect. It looks, it looks pretty decent if you ask me. So this is video from the main sensor, shooting in 2K resolution. Let me know what you think. This is four times zoom. That's the maximum you can go on the Infinix Hot 12. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, the Infinix or 12 is running Android 12, which is based on their custom skin, XOS 10.6. Not my favorite Android skin. It is filled with bloatware and you won't get any major software updates. But you do get tons of features like Smart Panel, Game Mode, X-Clone, Peak Proof, and my favorite, Memory Fusion. So yes, the Infinix or 12 comes with 4GB of RAM, but you can get additional 3GB of RAM that makes a total of 7GB of RAM which is just wild. You also get a whooping of 120GB of storage so it's all good. Storage and RAM, <laughs> thumbs up. How about performance? We get the MediaTek Helio G85, it's a gaming chipset. Now pair that with a 90Hz refresh rate huge display and the 7GB of RAM, it's clear that Infinix made this phone for gamers. Well, gamers on a budget. I played Asphalt 9 and I got zero lag. Gameplay was smooth. I also played Dream League Soccer 2022 on high settings. I got a bit of lag, but that was not because of the phone. It was because of the Wi-Fi I was connected to. Now, lastly, I played PS21 and it also played smoothly. No lag. Definitely one of the best performing phone at its price point. Now, pair that gaming performance with the 5000 mAh battery. I get over 7 hours of screen on time using the Hot Troll. So if you're a gamer, well, a mobile gamer on a budget, then you will love the Infinix Hot Troll. You also get 18 watts of fast charging which can get you from 20% to 100% in 1.5 hours. I do hope this video was helpful to you in making the right purchase decision. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name is Yudi, this is Yudi Shoots, and you'll see me in my next video.